Hello and welcome to this new episode of Free Science 365. Today's challenge is Ames Window Illusion Challenge. Now, usually in our experiments and challenges, the second part of all our videos is things you need. But today, first we'll attempt the challenge. I have prepared the things already and I will ask you why is it happening and that's the challenge. You have to decode why you see what you see. And once you attempted the challenge, uh, in the explanation part, I will also explain how to do this experiment at home, how to challenge others uh, at home and then we'll discuss the things you need uh, part. So without further ado, let's get started. Now this here is an Ames window and we have stuck some threads to it so that it can oscillate. So basically you can see it's oscillating. So for example, now see this goes to the right, now left, right, left, right, left, right, left. So basically the window is oscillating. It goes this way and then it goes the other way. Now that's okay. That's you know that's usual with any uh, window. Now this window I made from cardboard, so uh, that's why it's much lighter. Now you know this is a window just oscillating about. Now let's look at the main challenge. Now I prepared here a round thing which actually mimics a pen. So let's imagine this is a pen. Actually, this is made of paper. So what I've done is I've put some glue and I've glued the side of this pen with our Ames window. And now you will see something amazing. So as you can see, the window keeps on going from right to left to right to left. It keeps on oscillating. But look at the pen. The pen is doing something amazing. It's actually somehow it's able to, you know, cross the windows, even though there's no other way because the pen is glued to only one window, but it's able to actually uh, go across different windows. That's kind of amazing, isn't it? So our uh, window is just oscillating. It's now going to left, now again right left right it keeps on oscillating left right left right but left and now while it's oscillating left and right just look at the pen especially the white tip somehow is able to you know cross different windows and your challenge is to find out how is that possible So, there, you saw it. And the explanation is very simple. Actually, it's an optical illusion. Uh, the window that I showed you is not a three-dimensional window. It's just a two-dimensional window. Uh, we, in, in mathematics, we call it a trapezoid shape. So it's basically a trapezoid shape, which kind of makes your mind think, because you've seen so many windows in your life, uh, your mind is programmed and despite knowing that it's an illusion it cannot actually overcome the fact that it's just an illusion the mind still perceives the two-dimensional what I mean by two-dimensional is just a sheet of paper as a three-dimensional thing as a real solid window now before we go further into more detail of why and how first Let's see how we can make Ames window at home. Okay, so let's look at things we need. The first thing we need is two sheets of A4 paper. So that's, we have two sheets there. 
and then we need you know something to cut to make the windows scissors to do the same thing to cut paper some glue as you saw we had to glue the pen with the window and some thread now using these things we end up making these so first the pen all you have to do is take one A4 sheet paper and roll it cut the sides and color it blue or whatever color color you like just color it that way so that's the first thing you made the second thing main attraction of today's challenge is this this is Ames window now as you can see this is just a sheet of paper so but the the design the way it's you know made is as if it's a three-dimensional window and that's the thread by the way I hope I could show you here so that it can oscillate so the thread when you uh, when you roll the thread when you roll the thread a bit like so and the thread will then unroll itself and that will make the Ames window move now first let's look at how to make the Ames window you basically take this design and take the A4 sheet of paper and just make the shape around it including the windows Ta -da -da -da. and then color it so color this with any color that you want I only had red color uh, with me so I colored it red and then look at the other things that are there so not only do you color the red part but also look at the blacks so I've colored in this way so it gives an illusion of a shadow now the second side the, the other side as well you have to do the same thing not only do you have to make it look like a three-dimensional thing but also leave some shades gray and black so that it becomes more convincing to the eyes but mind you we still know that it's a two-dimensional thing isn't it look at that it's as thin as this between my fingers so it's not a three-dimensional thing now despite knowing that we could not overcome the illusion and that's the beauty of illusion so what we did is we took it like so and I'm rolling the thread in one direction so that uh, it can have energy to then move the Ames window in the other direction so we are just doing it here and okay I think it's ready now so as you can see the window is now moving it gives us an illusion that it's uh, oscillating from left to right but actually it's moving around isn't that amazing and that's the beauty of Ames window the great scientist Mr. Ames or well, the illusionist I don't know I think he was a scientist he created it uh, as part of many illusions but this is the most famous and so even though it's actually circling around it's going around it still gives an illusion that it's moving from left to right and then right back to left and so on and so forth like a pendulum now what I did is I attached this there and you saw the illusion so there you have it it looks like the window is just oscillating from side to side and the pen is miraculously just piercing through the windows without breaking them and still going around all nicely despite knowing that it's an illusion our eyes can still see the magic in here so knowing that this is an illusion doesn't stop us from you know feeling the wonder of this amazing optical illusion so there you have it the Ames window challenge now it took me about six hours to actually get it perfect to get it to the stage where it can actually look like a true illusion 
So it's not easy. It looks easy on paper. I thought it would take me maximum two hours, but actually it takes a long time, especially to do the threads correctly. So what you should do is when you're uh, finding the midpoint of the thread, take this, the middle line, as your base, not this. So if you take this as your base, it actually comes across like this and it's not very useful. So this is one of the learnings that I had during my six hours of, you know, perfecting this illusion. Uh, also, it's not very easy to make the trapezoid shape. So what I'll do is I will share the link to download because that's, that's much easier than doing everything on your own. Now, I'm kind of a purist, so I tend to do things on my own, but uh, actually it's much easier. You can simply download that. I'll send the details uh, in the description below. You can click on the link and you can print out, you know, uh, Ames window print out, cut out. So you can simply cut it out and make the Ames window in much lesser time than six hours. So that was our project. I really hope you liked it. Uh, it took me six hours of making about this. Actually, this video took the longest time for me to make, <laughs> which is very strange because the experiment is very simple. Uh, but anyway, thank you for watching till the end and please subscribe, like it, uh, spread it around, uh, comment on it as much as you can. And I'll see you in the next one. Until then, bye bye.